Hi there, Sarah Took here and welcome to another episode of Trainer Tip of the Week. So this week I wanted to talk about the machine in the gym that I despise the most. And if you know anything about me, you know I'm not a big fan of machines. So I've got to have a few machines that I really don't like. So what is the number one machine that I would like to see banned from gyms? Well, that would be the ab crunch machine. So why do I hate this machine? Well, let me first tell you what it does and then I'll talk about why I hate it. So the abdominal crunch machine works your rectus abdominis, your six pack muscle. So why don't I like that? I'm a trainer. People always want to get six packs. That's why they hire me most of the time. Well, it's not that I'm not a fan of creating a six pack. I just don't believe this is the best way. And it tends to end up leading to problems down the road, um, typically pain and injury. So we can get you a six pack in a different way and avoid that pain and injury. Why wouldn't you do that, right? So why don't I like this machine? Number one is I really don't like isolating muscle groups. So that means we're just working one single muscle. I'm more of a fan of big bang exercises. So that is exercises where we're working a lot of muscles at once. So for example, a front plank would work your rectus abdominis too, but it'll work all your other core muscles. Especially important is your deep core muscles that help build spinal segmental stability. So yeah, I'm saying you're better off doing a plank than using the abdominal crunch machine. The other thing I don't like about it is, uh, again, it's isolating a muscle and that muscle attaches in the front here, kind of like rib cage and like your pubis synthesis on your hip. So if I work that a lot, I'm gonna end up shortening and tightening it. And we tend to have bad posture already. So we tend to be already hunched over a little bit And if I shorten and tighten that rectus abdominis, uh, it's gonna pull my chest down even more, pull my shoulders forward even more, and it's gonna make your stomach look horrible. If you want a really easy tip for, you know, making your uh, core, your midsection looking instantly better, stand with better posture. That would be rule number one. Uh, You know, we could take before and after pictures right next to each other, and one person could have a six pack and one they couldn't just with how they're standing or holding themselves, right? Now with clients, I do get them doing some crunching stuff, but if I do get them doing crunching stuff, I get them to do it on the ground. And the reason being is when we're in a seated position, we tend to have a seat posture. So that means you flatten out your lower back and this creates more stress on your lower back. Um, I don't wanna get into it too much, but think of it like your vertebrae are jelly donuts. There's like a squishy part on the inside that we wanna keep on the inside. When we sit down and I flatten my lower back, that pushes that squishy stuff on the inside of my vertebrae to the back of the vertebrae. And then when I'm flexing over to do that move, that's pushing it even more to the back. And this is how you end up with bulged and herniated discs, which trust me are no fun, so you wanna avoid that at all costs. So if you are gonna do the crunch type move, you're gonna be better off doing it on the ground. The other thing I always make sure I emphasize with my clients is you want an equal amount of flexion exercises to extension exercises. So flexion would be the stuff like crunches and sit-ups. People tend to go crazy on those because they want that six pack, right? But then they don't do any extension exercises. That would be like lower back extension and bird dogs, supermans, that kind of stuff. So if you evenly match it, that's gonna help keep that proper alignment so you don't get all hunched over. Okay, but then one more quick tip for abdominals is we all have a six pack, okay? You might be 50 pounds overweight, you have a six pack too. We all have a six pack. It's just the fact that it's hiding under fat for most people. So in order to get that nice flat stomach or to get that washboard stomach, a lot of times the biggest thing is really decreasing the amount of body fat you have over top of your six pack. So you're gonna be better off doing compound type weight training movements. That means movements where you're working a lot of muscles at once. So you're gonna burn a lot of calories, okay? It's also gonna make your workout shorter, which is great because we're all busy. And then the other thing that'll help you get the body fat down is getting in some cardio as well, 
Okay, so it's really a whole uh, combat uh, game plan, right? It's doing compound movements, it's doing cardio, it's doing core movements, okay? Not, none of them all by themselves will get you a nice six pack. Okay, hope you enjoyed. See you in the next episode of Trainer Tip of the Week.